All right, we're heading to uh, Alberta, Alabama today, and that's with an E, not like Alberta, Canada, but Alberta, Alabama, for a uh, wedding uh, reception. It's going to be held outside, but look at the weather. It is beautiful. It looks like it's going to stay this way, so that's great. But uh, anyway, we're um, heading over there, and uh, they're going to have me under a tent, and I think all the tables and everything are going to be out. The bride originally was going to have a tent for everybody to sit in, but when the weather was, was turned out to be beautiful, I think she decided to cancel that. So anyway, it's a beautiful location up there. they got like a little lake, and I went and met with the bride and groom at that location uh, probably a few months ago. And it is just a beautiful place to have a wedding ceremony and reception. So anyway, that's what we're, we're going to be doing today. And uh, we're going to be trying some uplighting outside. I've never really tried that, but there's a little area there where they've got some trees that, uh, that really create a nice little archway. And you'll see what I'm talking about once we get there. But we're going to try to do some uplighting there and uh, seeing how that looks. So anyway, that, you know, there's a first time for everything. So right now we're still in Florida. We're actually getting ready to uh, cross the Alabama state line. I think this bridge right up here might actually be the Alabama state line, if I'm not mistaken. We'll find out here in just a second. We'll see a welcome to Alabama sign. I'm thinking that's it. So, yeah, I think this was a uh, this is a little river right here. I think it's this is the uh, Scambia River, or Perdido River, rather. I'm sorry. Yeah, Perdido River, and it marks uh, Alabama, Florida. So let's see. Well, speedy finds double. Better slow down here. Yep, there we are. There's the Welcome to Alabama sign. <laughs> okay, so this is Florida, and this is Alabama right here. So anyway, I'll be uh, talking to you when we uh, get there and get set up. By the way, Meg's not with me today. She had some other things that she had to do, so she won't be with us today. So we'll look forward to seeing her again next weekend. All righty, we'll be there shortly. All right, we're here and uh, set up. Got everything uh, ready to go. So let me show you my setup real quick. We're outside tonight, so we're not going to be using the Scrim Kings. They tend to flap uh, when it's uh, you know kind of windy outside. So anyway, here are my JBL speakers. Without the Scrim Kings, got our lights on the pole there we're going to use for up, dance for up lighting or dance for lighting rather and a Rio 3 and a Rio 4 down there we be using for the fireworks effect now I got a little creative we were going to try to do some up lighting uh, right over here but uh, I talked to the owner of the property and we just didn't really want to try to run the wires there and have people tripping over them and that kind of thing you know with it being outside uh, so we thought that'd be more of a safety hazard so what I decided to do I decided to put two of my megapixels right here to kind of up light this tree so i think it'll look really nice once it gets dark we'll have to take some pictures of that so anyway this is a beautiful facility and uh the ceremony is actually happening right back over there see where the little lake is there yes it's a beautiful place and we are out in the country i'm getting very spotty cell coverage out here <laughs> Wow. 
the crowds don't remember my name When my hands don't play the strings the same way mm -hmm. I know you will still love me the same See that, but they're just doing a fake leave right now because the photographers are actually getting ready to leave. We still have another hour there for the reception. Good job, TJ. So, that was it. Everything's alright I'll just say goodnight And I'll show myself to the door Hey, I didn't mean To cause a big scene Just give me an hour and then We're getting the uh, cleanup now, playing Goodbye by Night Ranger like we always do, and um, gonna start packing up. I'll do a wrap from the road here in just a little bit. Okay, it's over. It's about 10.45 now. The reception ended about 9.30. I just now left, and uh, yeah, you can kind of see where the uh, venue was tonight. It was out, you know, kind of in the country. You can see what, what we're just in some desolate roads here. Well, I just passed a house right there, but... So I've been on this road now probably about two or three miles. I have not passed a single car. So, <laughs> you know, that's, that's what it's like when you uh, travel on these little country roads. But you know what? I like it. I really do. It's a pretty neat area to over, to over through here. And that was just a beautiful facility, if you notice that. Um, I was talking to the owner about that. And he said a lot of brides really don't, uh, you know, will, will look at the place and then decide they don't want to have their weddings there because uh, of the weather, you know. And the thing is, they can rent a big tent for that because, you know, that was uh, a, a big uh, thing that a lot of brides had. And uh, you can rent a big tent over there. They got that big grassy area, so that would really work out well. But it's a beautiful place there with the uh, lake and uh, the gazebo and all that, and where they have everything set up there for the uh, uh, ceremony. So, yeah, you know what? I, I really like that place. So, anyway, it's about an hour drive back to Pensacola, so I'm just kind of relaxing right now and enjoying myself and going to sit back and listen to some tunes. Now, as far as the uh, reception went uh, real quickly, it was uh, great. Everybody had a great time. I got a lot of compliments. So, you know what? Another successful wedding in the books. So we got more gig logs to come. So until next time, practice and enjoy.